All right, hello boys and girls. Today we're gonna to start our new project. We just talked about um, what it is to be um, part of a, to be a citizen and to be part of the citizenship in the United States. Um, we also talked about civic spaces. Civic space is a place where people come together, meet new people, they meet new friends, they, um, they engage in cultural um, things they like music or art festivals um, so we talked about the Eiffel Tower the Eiffel Tower is an example of a civic space uh, over there in France where um, in Paris where the Eiffel Tower is located is also the Arc de Triomphe and a marketplace where many people from all over the world travel to see these things and come together and meet each other. So we are now going to start step one of this project which is the printmaking step. So we are going to be making the tower today. All right, so you now have your colored sheet of paper. The very first thing you need to do is you need to fold it in half like a book. All right, go ahead and do it. All right, now open it up. And on the back, we do need to write our name. Use a pencil. Go. All right, hopefully you have all written your name by now. The next step is this halfway line right here. We're gonna take the bottom of our piece of paper. We're gonna fold it up to that halfway line and then crease that and then open it back up. Go, do that. All right, so now you have a piece of paper with two folds, one at half and one at uh, one fourth. So the first thing you will notice is that I gave you a piece of cardboard. There are two different sides. You have this really boring flat side that just has these lines. If I flip it to this side though, do you see all those edges? It's like kind of like this weird wavy line up and down, up and down. That's the side we wanna use that's gonna go in our paint. We are using black acrylic paint today. Please remember to be careful. Acrylic paint, if it gets on your clothing, will not wash off. So you need to be very, very, very careful today. All right, step one, we're gonna use the edge that has those wavy lines. I'm gonna carefully dip it in the paint, just up and down. You're not scooping or anything. You're just dipping it up and down. And I'm gonna start by placing a vertical line that is right smack dab at the top and in the middle, right there. Go. All right, very good. Next step is to create a horizontal line that goes right across it at the top, right about there. Go. All right, now from this point right here, I'm gonna create two diagonal lines out. One out like that, one out like that. Go. All right, I hope you're keeping up. No time to goof off. I'm moving quickly. Now I'm gonna bring those together to make a close shape like that. Go. All right, then these two corners right here, one there and one there, I'm gonna make these lines that come all the way down to the halfway point. If you look right here, it's this line and that line. All right, so here we go. If you want to work while I'm working, you can. There's one, go ahead. Here is the second one. A nice straight line, it goes straight down. Go ahead. All right, hopefully you're finished. So now at this time, we're gonna close this shape right here 
and I'm going to bring it out just one print, out just one print, like that. All right, and then this line right here, I'm going to bring all the way down. So I'm going to take this and go all the way down. All right, the next step is I'm going to start creating these nice horizontal spaces. If you notice, there are these like what looks like beams. So the Eiffel Tower is made up of all these like the steel, solid steel construction. So it's very, very um, sturdy. And the, the steel beams look like this with the spaces. So to give it that kind of like, like rugged, like, metal effect, we're going to need to make all these crisscrosses. So I'm going to take that right there and then I'm going to make a small one and then I'm going to make some larger square boxes like that. And then I'm going to add crisscross inside. So maybe I go all one way at one point to start. And then I go back the other direction. Go, do it. I hope you're following along. Keeping up. Miss Thompson's moving fast today. All right. Hopefully you got that. Maybe you need a little bit more time. I'll wait just a little bit longer. All right, now if you notice, we're gonna move on to this section right here. So it's like a big old rectangle. So I'm gonna come down on these sides and then just draw another line across. Well, I'm not drawing, I'm printing, because this is printmaking. And then again with the boxes, just divide it right there and right there. Okay, do you have that? Let's go, guys. And go ahead and add those X's. All right, the next step is we need to add these long diagonal legs to our Eiffel Towers. So I'm starting at this point and I'm going all the way down. Look right here. This line goes all the way out and down to the corner of the piece of paper. So maybe I kind of aim. I turn my board and I aim and I'm aiming for that corner of my piece of paper. Boom. All right, this leg right here, I'm aiming for the corner of my piece of paper. Don't hesitate to dip your cardboard in the paint when you run out. All right, go ahead and do that. Okay, that shouldn't have taken you too terribly long. Next, we're going to add this center section. So first we need to add this side and this side. And these legs, look at this. If I were to bend this up, look at that. They stop right there on this crease. Okay. So maybe a good point is to draw a line from here across. Good. Come on guys, keep up. And then here I'm going to go down and down like that okay at this point do you notice how you no longer see these nice beautiful lines the bumpy lines well it's because the paint has gotten really heavy into my cardboard 
All right, so maybe I just turn my cardboard and I can use the other end. All right, I'm gonna wait just a few more minutes. All right, hopefully you guys have this now. Now we need to go in and add these X's. So it's just dividing this in half once and half once and then X and X X and X. Wow, it's really starting to take shape, isn't it? You guys getting excited? I am. Looking great. All right, here we go, guys. Look at this bottom. So now we need a very skinny, long line. All right, so we have this to start with. Now what we need to do is we need to make a skinnier one underneath, all the way across. Good job. Keep up, guys. And then if you have a second, go ahead and divide that. Um, my cardboard is going to be too long to make small lines. It's going to kind of hang out. So at this time, it is a great idea for you to find the skinnier, the skinnier piece of cardboard I put at your table. So you should have the fatter one and then the skinnier one. You can see the difference in size. It's about half the size. So I'm gonna use my smaller one to make these smaller cross sections. And then you're going to create those X's all in there. Go on guys, keep up. That's looking amazing. Are you guys done yet? Come on. All right, so I'm done. Now I'm gonna switch back to my bigger one because we still, just lastly, need to add this nice little curve and then these bigger sections so I don't need my small one anymore. So, Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. Here we go. I'm gonna dip. And first we're gonna start with this line right here. And then this line right here. They start right here. Go down. And this is this line is gonna be parallel to this line. A parallel line are two lines that run next to each other and they never cross. They just run side by side like that forever. All right, so these two lines are parallel with each other. So if one is tilting at an angle, the other one is also tilting at an angle. All right, and then I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add my axis. It's just two little sections on either side. All right, and our last step is to add the arch right here, the arch. Notice it goes up, it doesn't quite touch right there, it doesn't touch, and it goes back down, okay? So we need to start right about here. I'm gonna go up, curve in it. Oh, you know, now I noticed that this large one was a little bit too big. If you want to use your skinnier one, that might be a better idea. And then it is time to add that line right here, right there, and then 
crisscross, crisscross. One more time. And voila, you guys have now created an Eiffel Tower using printmaking and cardboard. Who would have thought you could do that? You should feel very proud of yourself. The next class period, we are going to talk about how to add these lines using different types of lines to show fireworks because at nighttime, the Eiffel Tower or uh, Paris is very famous for launching lots of fireworks to celebrate. And we are also going to talk about how to make this city line, cityscape line, and then these landscape lines. It's going to be wonderful. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you throw your cardboard in the trash. Put the caps back on your paint very carefully until you hear it click. And then put your artwork on the drying rack very carefully. Remember, the paint will stain your clothes if it gets on you. So be very careful when you walk with it. All right, guys.